Rand Lomar wanted only to be left alone, to get away from it all. That's why he volunteered for duty on Pia 2, the most remote, isolated world in the galaxy. His assignment was simple. The problem on Pia 2 was Red Wing, a plant used throughout the galaxy as a medical fixative. Red Wing grew only on Pia 2, and lately, less and less was being harvested. Lomar's job was to find out why, and do something about it. A simple job, or so it seemed. Tan Carlo Harb, the station officer, tried to warn him. But Lomar had to find out for himself about the strange inhabitants of Pia 2. The Tox, the Tame Ones, and the Wild Ones, and the mysterious, legendary Rorks that everyone feared. So I mentioned in a previous video how there was a company that bought the old Blackwood College grounds back in the 90s, although they eventually went bankrupt. This company, the Blobware Corporation, pursued biological computing, and specifically, they were attempting to grow an AI. Rumor has it the project wasn't shut down properly when the company went bankrupt. So somewhere in the sub-basements of the old tech institute, there's a slurry of cells, or blubware, bursting from old vats and tubes and slowly coming to consciousness. But of course, that's just silly. Now, however, there are reports, just reports at this point, of something in the woods on Blackwood Hill. It isn't a pink slurry of thinking foam, though. It's a, well, it's green, and it oozes, and it seems to reach out for people with long, sticky tendrils or rudimentary arms and hands, and when it touches people, it starts shaping itself to look like them. The sources of these rumors are indefinite in the extreme. Always some kid who knew a kid, or some people say it's that guy. You know, the weird one that lives under the bridge outside of town. Although, of course, he can't be found now or questioned. That sort of thing. Hikers on Blackwood Hill have very definitely found strange trails through the brush. It looks like a snail has crawled across the undergrowth. But if it's a snail, it's up to six feet wide and who knows how tall. These snail trails end at creeks, or even more strangely, they simply stop. It's like there's a trail, or something that seems like a trail because the vegetation is bent to the ground and covered in a yellowish, mucus-like substance, and then the trail ends. It's as if the giant snail, or slug, or whatever it is, simply oozed into the ground where the trail ends. These trails have not yet been studied in a pristine state, they are usually trampled over by the hikers who found them. By the time researchers from Greenwood College can get to the scene, the mucus has degraded. Sometimes the vegetation is even bouncing back, growing more lush than ever. There are even theories that the mucus is a kind of short-lived fungus which causes vegetation to wilt, but then as the fungus dies, it actually helps the plants grow. I personally don't have an opinion on the topic, although I am avoiding Blackwood Hill for the time being. This is one thing I don't have to see with my own eyes to find out if it's real. <laughs>